Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And we're going to take a look at the very final match of the season. It's a little bit disappointing because we failed our um, objective, which was to at least do better than 10th. And there's no way, if you look at this table, even though here the competitions says we can finish 9th to 14th. Even if we win our next match, we'll get 67 points, but our goal difference is so big that we'll never actually achieve 10th place. So the best we can do is 11th, which is one place lower than last year. Uh, so it's a little bit disappointing. I, I blame it on the fact we lost our main striker um, at, at the half season. So around this point, uh, we lost our main striker and we started to dip a little bit. Now, the biggest news this season um, since uh, February is that we have our new and improved youth intake and as you can tell they are very very good indeed they are on target to finish I think they're gonna finish first because they're gonna they, they gotta be much much better than their competition surely um, so yeah so I think they're gonna win the league if not they're gonna finish second anyway uh, that meant that I've put a bunch of players up into the end of 21st and the 21s and I'll sort them out at the beginning of next season. And that's it. Now, another bit of bad news. We have um, gone into our reserves quite a bit this season. So we, we're not um, we're not in the red, but we're not making profit season on season, year on year. Um, which was not the case in previous seasons, so we've always made a small profit. But this season we did not. So uh, while I'm here, I'll just ask for stuff. But yeah, so we has been sp we've been spending a lot more on players, but that has not actually materialized in an improved um, outcome at the end of the season. A lot of our players aren't uh, unhappy. Um, a lot of them want to leave, blah, 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 blah. But in any case, we're going to take a look at this next game. It doesn't really matter what the outcome is since we've, we've already... Um, lost our objective for the season. So we're just gonna go ahead and play that last match. Now, because of the fact that uh, a lot of our players are wanting to leave, I suspect that next season we're gonna have a um, pretty different squad. We might even see some of those players from our youth team come up and feature in our senior team. I think there's two of them that are very, very close to being within the parameters that we normally use for transfers. So if they can improve those little bits throughout the summer, they might feature in our senior senior squad. But we'll see. So yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. We're gonna stay one more season in this league. I was really hoping to finish ninth, and at one point it looked like that was completely achievable. Uh, even the playoffs seemed at one point very achievable, but um, from February onwards, it 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 didn't start to go quite as well as it did in the beginning of the season. Also, I think we had a slow start to the season. The first two or three matches we lost consecutively, and that hampered sort of our. Um, I was start to the season, so I had to climb quite a lot of places to get up to ninth. I think we got up to ninth. Is it ninth or seventh? I can't remember. It was an odd number, single odd number. I think it was ninth. So we got up to ninth, and it looked like we were quite comfortably in ninth, and maybe looking to climb up to seventh. And then we lost our striker, so we had to kind of rely on. Um, Pollock coming up to the mark. To be fair, he didn't do too badly coming up to the mark, but the other two, uh, I can't even remember, is it Lawrence and Griggs? They really didn't do too well at all. Our goalkeeping has been pretty bad as well this season. So that's one of our points for improvement next season if we can.
I'm starting to think if we continue to shed money like we are this season, we might need investment soon. Um, new ownership or something like that. I always love when the club gets taken over by new ownership. It often open. I mean, actually, newer editions of FM that hasn't happened quite so much. Uh, but yeah, I remember in older versions of FM, if you got taken over by a new ownership, quite often that new ownership wanted to take the club places, like they wanted a fresh vision and trajectory for the club, so they would invest a lot of money into improving the club. That isn't quite the case in this kind of the past, this, this version, but also the past couple of versions of FM. It's been like, oh, new ownership, but they... Uh, interested in doing exactly the same as the previous ownership. Like, nothing happens. They don't even cover the debt or anything like that often. Okay, let's try and put senior players on the pitch. Um, Jamie Milne is a brand new 16-year-old from my youth setup. He's just there as a, as a reserve in case we run out of players for certain positions. with two subs and there we are I think the uh, end result will be 13th place uh, if you win if you manage to score and win we'll just go up to 12th so 13th place that's the middle of the table isn't it roughly so that is not too bad. Let's look at what the season finale, what the season like end awards and stuff like that, what, what that uh, gives us. I don't think we'll have any awards per se, but. Let's see if we can give back some players now. Let's give them back, save some money. Budget has been capped a little bit, I think. Yeah, I've been capped in half the, the uh, transfer budget. Uh, wage budget, I can't quite remember. I think roughly on the same level as last year. Now, do I need to wait until the end? Okay, yeah, need to wait until the end. Uh, I'll need to wait until the end of the season, beginning of the next season, to send those guys back. That's how a striker with 23 goals has been the transfer of the season for us. Now the happy is ha the board is happy. I think this the um, uh, fans also will be happy. We have less sponsorship this year. Oh, actually, just not improved. Uh, slightly less broadcast revenue. Uh, corporate hospitality income continues on going up. There we go. Not, nothing much else to say about that. Uh, a new record for 10 yellow cards and then a red card for Tom Lapsley, defensive midfielder. Now, fan player of the year are striker Leighton Stewart, also the young player of the year at the signing of the year, and the top goal scorer of the year. Goal of the year goes for Eric Souza, also with the most assists. Uh, most player of the match also for Leighton, with high, average high score for Leighton as well. And Harrison Burke with the most passes completed. I'll skip this bit. Uh, Eric Souza was uh, brought into the squad. So were all these guys also brought into the squad. Now looking at the squad here. At the club, 
we have Eric Souza, Brecken, Vaughan, Burke, but Burke is on loan. I mean, he's a loanee. Everyone else has left the club. This guy has been with us a couple of times. This is the striker I was talking about. He's our main striker. And two seasons in a row now, he's been poached halfway through the season back to the other club. Uh, let's see the support art profile. We have more fair weather supporters, which is actually not good for us because they're slightly impatient. More media. Let's see what the board wants for next season. Last year I was able to remove a lot of the requests. Actually, they don't don't want anything fancy, and we're still just trying to attempt to avoid relegation, which seems. Okay, so we need to play direct football and improve the club's reputation. That's it. I'll do the meeting later. Actually, I'll do it now. So, da 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 da. Uh, the season is finished and it's time to focus on what lies in store for us next time. I think we might be in the relegation battle. There we go. Not going to make any promises and off we go. Off we go on holiday. Now, I think... yeah. Okay, so we've got some changes here. Edgar Street was built in... Na -na -na. The stadium is room for potential Really, in June. I don't know what this means. Oh, is Forest Green playing in our stadium? I don't know what they mean by this. Oh, forest green. Okay, sorry, I just realized that it says forest green at the top there of the screen. So, forest green is playing in our stadium from next season for a season? Or for half of the season? Yeah, for half of the season. Um while they upgrade their own stadium. So they're paying us, you know, quite a lot of money for that. That's really good. Okay, so we're now category three. I can request an improvement. I already. Anything else I can request? Nope. Improve recruitment, that'll be good. Uh, that's it. That is it. So does that mean that we've just had a lot of money come into the... No. Okay, so they, they haven't paid us rent yet, then. For the stadium. What does it say for our facilities, then? So if you go back to info, facilities... Da, 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 and then Edgar Street. Edgar Street... Okay, all right. Okay, so now let's carry on a little bit and we're gonna see what the outcome of the playoffs are. Entry groups needing assist. Now I'll just cancel those. There we go. So Gateshead is out. Rock Rochdale is out.
I'm going to keep an eye on the youth as well. So they're playing. They've two, got two more matches to go before they um, finish the season. They just enjoyed a big win. A big win. And they have one more match to go. Colchester's out. Yeovil's out. Got big spon sponsorships coming up as well. Um, some of these have been increased. I think the sh shorts have been increased quite a lot. Budget has been the same for scouting. That doesn't really change unless you go up to different leagues. So I think it's the final now against uh, Dorking and Knots. Uh, I'm not willing to sell anyone for now. Thanks very much. Too soon. The final match of the Youth League coming up with Oxford City. And they win, and that means they win the league. So our youth teams win the league for the um, National Under-18s League Southwest. They're going to be playing in a different league next year because they've just been promoted... Um, not not through winning the league, but through going to category three. And there we go, Dorking goes up, and that's the end of the season for us. Nothing to say as far as awards or anything like that. Yes, we will. Uh, I don't think I can send these guys back yet, though. I, think I have to wait. I'm not gonna accept any offers just yet. So, Ben Close wins the player of the season. Uh, I'm not gonna be in the selection, I don't think. Oh, I am. Oh, well, I'm gonna vote for the guy below me, Scott Dan. And I'm not going to comment on that. And that I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching until the end. I'm going to uh, speed through the summer and work on some transfers for next season, lay out the squad for next season, and then I'll come back when I'm ready to present a new squad. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also look at the Patreon. They've got some um, subscriptions there for giving names to new gens. So if you're interested in naming a new gen, go and check out the Patreon. The link is in the description and also in the channel uh, main page. Uh, again, see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.